The YZF R6 was introduced in 1999 as the super sport version of the YZF R1. The R6 was the world's first 600cc production 4-stroke motorcycle producing over 100 HP in stock form. In 2017, Yamaha released the 4th generation R6. It has improved aerodynamics with styling inspired by the MotoGP YZR M1. Hi guys, our bike review for today. Itong dalawang Yamaha R6. And the black R6 is owned by RJ. And the blue R6 is owned by Brixel. And so later, papakita natin sa inyo yung mga features and yung mga sound check ng dalawang bike na to. Noong pa man, nung underbone pa lang ako, talagang dream ko na talagang R6. Kaya talagang nagsumikap talaga ako para makuha yung bike na to. Yun, sa yung looks, talagang takitang kita mo naman, pogi pogi di ba? Tsaka talagang hindi rin siya papahuli sa, ano eh, sa speed. Talagang nakakasabay, kahit sabi mo 600 lang. Dati kong bike is, say, 1,000, kasi iba pa rin talaga feel pag naka-sports bike ka. Yung looks niya talaga, tsaka, waga, dream bike ko talaga yan nung bata pa ako eh. carbon fiber accessories is a tank sa frame twin arm and tire hugger front fender sa so, meron siyang gear indicator and shift light kaya lang wala siyang fuel gauge dahil ginawa daw tong motor na to para sa track and racing tapos meron siyang quick shifter ayun yung icon niya QS and ito meron siyang GPR steering damper Ito guys, yung R6 na blue. Meron siyang AR exhaust and meron siyang engine guards. Okay guys. So another another R6 ride for my R6 review. It's a beautiful day. Cloudy lang siya, di ba init?
Yamaha R6 is a track focused sport bike. It's light with high revving engine that makes power above 8000 rpm. So it's very good for aggressive riding and racing. I also love the styling similar to the R1. But ride it on the streets and you will quickly feel the pain in your wrists because of the aggressive riding position, high seat and low handlebars. Compared to its competitor, the Kawasaki ZX6R, to answer the question of which one is better, the ZX6R is an all-around sport bike that Kawasaki made for the streets and occasional track days. Thanks to its bigger 636cc engine, it has more torque on low RPMs. While the R6 is made for the track, you can still use it on the streets but not as comfortable as the ZX6R. The R6 has more top speed, better styling, and also more expensive. In the end, both of them really are great bikes. So it depends on your purpose and taste. For its price, it's worth it. I enjoyed riding it and I love the aggressive styling and riding position. Alright, shout out! Special thanks to the three R6 owners, namely Kito, the owner of the white R6, Frixel, the owner of the blue R6, and RJ, the owner of the black R6. Thank you so much guys at dahil sa inyo nagawa natin itong first ever R6 review using three R6 bikes. Shout out kay Chris Chan, Jai Montiliana, Almart Motovlog, Big Fat Boy, Ivan Barrios, Engineer Kent Brile Maga, Sir John Vlogs, Ride With Just, JWorks Motovlogs, JD Garcia, Motorific, Mark Saulo, Carlo Avila. Sa mga bago sa channel, please subscribe. Sa mga nag-subscribe, sobrang salamat po sa suporta. Marami pa tayong bike reviews coming soon and bibili pa tayo ng isang bagong bike. Thanks for watching. Bye!